Hi, uh, my name is Sandeep Nanu. I'm a snake rescuer. I've been rescuing snakes for the last uh, three years. Today, I'm going to be answering some common questions about snakes compiled by the good folks here at uh, Answered. Um, what is a snake you wouldn't want to come across when you are out in the open? As a normal human being, I think a Russell's Viper, possibly, because uh, it's one of the most venomous uh, snakes uh, out there. But as a snake rescuer, I think I speak for most rescuers out there, uh, it's actually a non-venomous checkered keelback because they can give you a really, really bad bite. So yeah, I think checkered keelback. Is there a reliable way in which I can identify if a snake is venomous or not? Um, there are some indicators usually, uh, but not always true. Uh, for example, uh, the venomous snakes usually have like a diamond-shaped head. And their pupils are also like vertical, uh, essentially. Whereas in non-venomous, it's rounded head and rounded pupils. But it's not usually easy to identify when it's in the wild or if it's in, out in the open. The identification usually happens via patterns or colors for specific snakes. So yeah, it's, it's a yes and no. If a snake gets into my house, what do I do? Um, keep a watch, basically, and uh, try not to spook it. If a snake is inside somebody's home, it's typically freaked out than we are. So ideally, don't spook it by going closer. Keep a watch and call a rescuer if you have a rescuer's number in handy. Uh, if it's a small snake and if it's not frisky, it'll be great if you can take a bucket and just put it on top so that it doesn't move away because sometimes rescuers can take a lot of time to get to your home. Um, once a rescuer comes and rescues that particular snake, we release it in close quarters, essentially. Snakes usually have uh, a certain radius in which they operate, so we don't really move it far away from where it is originally found. It's always good to have a snake rescuer as a friend. Uh, if you don't, Google is probably the best way to find out there is somebody close by who's a rescuer. In Kerala, they've introduced a new app called uh, Sarpam, works like an Uber app where once you spot a snake, you can actually say that there is a snake here and it needs to be rescued. Whoever is the closest to that particular spot actually will pick that call up. What am I supposed to do in the event of a snake bite? Uh, first up, uh, don't get bitten. Second, I ideally know which snake it is. If you can take a photograph, uh, it'll be great to know whether it was a venomous or a non-venomous because you know, for both of these, it's totally two different protocols. If it's non-venomous, you don't need to necessarily go to a doctor or a hospital. You can just wash it and probably apply like an antibacterial cream because the max that you can get is a, is a bacterial infection. But if it's venomous, then we say, don't panic. I know it's easy to uh, say, don't panic, uh, but that really helps because it controls your uh, BP and uh, you know how the blood flows and the venom sort of flows into your system. Whoever is taking care of you, ensure that wherever it is bitten, let's say if it's, it's, if it's your hand, if you can put a sling and ensure that it is not moved. If it's your leg, then make sure that the person does not walk. And don't do anything that the folklore or movies have told you, like uh, wash it or suck the venom out or apply some turmeric or any of those healing methods. Uh, get to a nearest government hospital as quickly as possible. The golden hour usually is 60 minutes. Before you get there, also ensure that you call the hospital and you inform them that there is a snake bite victim on the way. Uh, so that in case if they don't have anti-venom there, figure out a hospital that does have uh, anti-venom. Private hospitals also keep uh, anti-venom, but you will have to actually do that check before you actually go there. Government hospitals are mandated to keep anti-venom. Uh, hence, we always recommend going to a government hospital. What are the most venomous snakes that are in India? You know, uh, if you if you talk about potency, then most of the crates fall into this category. Uh, I think the Sindh crate is, is the most potent venomous snake in India. But if you talk about the volume uh, uh, per bite, it's the king cobra. It can administer up to, I think, 1000 mg of uh, venom into your system, which is, you know, enough to kill about 20 human beings. So it's not a straightforward answer when you ask which is the most venomous snake. There is also a third answer to this, uh, which is the Russell's Viper, because the Russell's Viper bite uh, accounts for the maximum amount of deaths in India. Uh, we have close to recorded about 60,000 deaths uh, through snake bite and about 43% of that comes from Russell's Viper. And they are also classified under what we call it as the big four. The big four is uh, essentially Russell's Viper, uh, Spectacle Cobra, Common Crate and the Sawscale Viper. 
technically the big four doesn't really hold good anymore because it's classified mainly because of the snake bite deaths that are recorded by these snakes uh, and not necessarily that they are the most venomous uh, because they're found in where the human population or human habitat exists. There are other snakes which are more venomous which are not in, in close quarters to humans. I'm kind of terrified of snakes. Can you tell me which part of the country can I live that uh, don't have so many? Or maybe which part of the world should I move to get away from them entirely? Um, first of all, you shouldn't. They're actually not as bad as they're portrayed to be. All parts of India have decent amount of snakes. Because of urbanization, their habitat is getting lost. So typically cities don't see too many. Uh, it's the outskirts and the farmlands and, and the villages that end up seeing a lot more snakes. So city, you're kind of safe, yeah. But uh, yeah, don't move. Live with them. They're as uh, harmless as any other species around. Uh, but if you really have to, then possibly Antarctica or Iceland uh, because they don't survive in such cold uh, conditions. Alaska is another uh, place that you can move to. Geographically, there are places like New Zealand uh, because of the way they are placed uh, that don't have any snakes. What do non-venomous snakes eat? Do they eat the same things as venomous snakes? More or less the same. Um, lizards, geckos, toads, rats. Some of the venomous snakes actually eat uh, other snakes as well. I heard king cobra eat other snakes. Uh, is that all they eat? Uh, yes, they do. They eat uh, other snakes, but that's not all they eat. Uh, their favorite meal is probably a rat snake. They also end up eating uh, toads, rats, lizards and other reptiles. Is it legal to keep snakes as pet in India? I've seen Instagram uh, reels of people with pet snakes from other countries. Don't be on Instagram. No, it's completely illegal to keep snakes in India. It's protected under, under the Wildlife Act. So you cannot be having snakes at all as pets. Do snakes have uh, years of memory? Do they uh, come to take revenge if you have hurt them? Thank you, Vishnu Ardhan. Uh, this is possibly coming from uh, this famous song uh, by Vishnu Ardhan. It says, Havina Duesha Hanradu Arsha. It's not true at all. They have very short memory. They don't recognize faces or people or whatever. And no, they don't come back to take revenge if you've hurt them. First of all, don't hurt them. But even if you do, it's not like they will remember and they will come back to take revenge. So no, they don't have years of memory. Do baby cobras have venom? Uh, yes, cobras, um, most venomous snakes, as soon as they are born, they carry venom with them. There is also this uh, saying that baby cobras are more venomous than adult cobras. That's not entirely true. That's not technically true. They have equal uh, amount of venom in them. It's just that they don't know how to use it. As venomous snakes grow, uh, they realize what is the right usage for their venom. They use it for either their prey or a predator. And human beings are not in their radar. They are always trying to run away from us. But the babies don't realize it. For babies, as soon as they are out, they see a larger size species in front of them they feel like biting. So hence, they might bite and inject venom. Is snake charming legal in India? Uh, no, it's not. Uh, snake charming is not legal at all. The way traditionally snake charmers modus operandi is catch a venomous snake, remove the fangs and just pretend to play music and then, then it dances to their tune. First of all, uh, snakes can't hear. They have no ears. They only follow movement or vibrations. Uh, so that's the trick that snake charmers have used for years and centuries together. It is said that antivenom available in India is not effective against all venomous snakes. Is it true? Currently in India, we use uh, polyvalent antivenom, uh, which is the only antivenom that we have. And that effectively neutralizes the venom of the big four. But there are at least uh, 15 other medically significant uh, venomous snakes in India for which this component may not work. Yeah, it, it is true that it doesn't work for all snake bites and there is a lot more research that is being done to address this particular thing. In fact, we've reached a point where we've realized that uh, geographically also, like if, if you have the antivenom uh, administered for a snake bite in, in Karnataka, but the snake antivenom was created in uh, Rajasthan, uh, even that doesn't really work. There is a lot to be done. Uh, we just have one antivenom at this point in India. Why are snakes considered venomous and not poisonous? A lot of times we, you know, we keep hearing this, uh, is it a poisonous snake? Mostly all snakes are venomous. There are very few or maybe one or two which are poisonous. The difference really is two keywords, uh, inject and ingest, right? Uh, venom is injected through a bite. Poison is ingested 
you know into your uh, digestive system and the and the toxins are released or absorbed in your digestive system so that's the difference so snakes typically bite and hence it is venomous and not poisonous there are very few poisonous snakes that if you eat them uh, the toxins are released in your digestive system i think there is a tiger keelback and also the garter snake do snakes build nests no for mostly uh, all species no uh, there is just one species in the world uh, that builds nests which is the king cobra uh, that's the only species that uh, actually uses uh, its body to create this whole uh, leaf and uh, litter from the ground and uh, build a nest to store their eggs all the other snakes use burrows in which they hide or live in they don't build nests how do i become a snake rescuer well there are uh, different institutions uh, teaching you how to become a snake rescuer but before you get to that stage and wanting to be a snake rescuer you need to do something called uh, snake watching just like how you do uh, bird watching and this is because every different every species behaves differently uh, whether it is venomous or non venomous some are very quick and frisky uh, some are very slow and easy to maneuver so you need to understand how each of these snakes behave before you can actually start handling them so before you even get to becoming a snake rescuer through programs that are conducted by you know reputed institutions you need to understand these species very 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 closely what are the different types of venoms snake venom can be classified into largely three different categories uh, hemotoxic neurotoxic or cytotoxic uh largely in india we find hemotoxic and uh, neurotoxic uh, venom neurotoxic affects your nervous system uh, hemotoxic your uh, blood and it can have cardiovascular uh, issues if you ask me which is worse uh, well they both are it clearly depends on you whether you like your brain or your heart better i had a great time answering some of these questions uh, compiled by the good fellows here at answered i hope uh, you've been able to get a few new answers about snakes and you know getting to know more about this highly misunderstood species uh, if you head over to shiftingradius.com you will find uh, this particular uh, product that you can actually buy this is a memory card game that i have designed with about 15 common snakes a uh, great way to uh, figure out uh, and learn how to identify some of the common snakes that are found in and around us so yeah head over to shiftingradius.com for more about uh, my journey and uh, the different things that i do